How's it going, guys? So today we're gonna talk about three types of profitable doji candlestick patterns, not combination patterns, but just one single pattern that you should absolutely know. That's gonna give you some clues as to where the market is gonna go. Okay, so let's get into that. Right. Okay, first thing first. If you don't know anything about doji, there are two solutions for you. First thing first, go back and watch all my tutorial videos. Secondly, just do a quick recap for you right here, right now. So basically, what does a doji tell you? A candlestick pattern whereby you have a upper wick, you have a lower wick, and then the opening and closing price is almost the same or exactly the same. Okay, so that's why you see a straight line just like this. So what does this tell you when opening and closing price are the same level? It tells you that traders are indecisive. And also it tells you that buyers and sellers, same amount of buyers, same amount of sellers going on at that particular time frame. You can see that this is a neutral pattern, it's not a bullish pattern, it's not a bearish pattern. It depends on where it forms, okay? It depends on the location in which the doji appears. Let me tell you something, doji doesn't work all the time. Candlestick doesn't work all the time because it only works when it appears at the right kind of places. Just understand that, okay? So it only gains meaning from the right kind of position in the charts. Okay, right kind of position in the chart. I'm so sorry about this one. Ignore. A lot of people say that property is all about location, location, location. Same thing for charts, you know what I'm saying? Same thing for candlestick patterns. You need to understand where this pattern forms. If it forms in the wrong places, it's not gonna work out. Now there are three doji patterns that you should take note of. The first one, like I said, is the normal doji, which is the same pattern that I showed just now, the cross pattern, okay? So when you see doji in an uptrend in a bullish market, in an upwards market, it tells you that bullish momentum might be reducing. Okay, not guaranteed, but might be reducing. Because it's not guaranteed, you need to use doji patterns just like other candlestick patterns with other confirmation indicators. But with that said, don't use too many indicators. Don't cut your chart, okay? It just doesn't make sense. When you see this on a downtrend, it tells you that bearish momentum is reducing and the price might retrace, okay? How far will it retrace? When will it retrace? You couldn't tell just by doji pattern alone. That's why I say you need more confirmation indicators. Okay, so this is a normal doji that you see. Very, very common. Okay, now spot the pattern. It's time to spot the pattern. So if you look at this trend right here, obviously above moving average, this is a bullish trend. Okay, a bullish trend. So can you find where is the doji pattern that we're looking for? It's not a really strong one because a stronger doji would mean that the wicks would be really, really long. For example, this one, okay? But this is not doji, okay? So where's the pattern? Can you see? Right here, okay? If I zoom in for you, if you can't see, can? Alright, the price comes down a little bit initially. Once the doji appears, it goes up a little bit. But in long term, it went from an uptrend to a downtrend. If you draw a minor trend line, you can see that there is a resistance forming. Okay, resistance zone forming. That tells you that, okay, price might retrace right at this point. Okay, now the next doji pattern that you should take note of is I would say less common, but it depends on the currency, depends on the stock. It's the gravestone doji. Why do they call it a gravestone? Looks like a gravestone, I guess. So the gravestone doji, what you see is that you see a long upper shadow, okay? And then you see the body right at the bottom. Actually, this horizontal line here is the body where the opening closing price is the same. You don't see any lower shadow, lower wick. In fact, you wouldn't see anything. Sometimes it might be really, really short, but most of the time, a good one, an ideal gravestone doji, is one that there's no lower shadow, okay? What does this long upper shadow tell you? It tells you that buyers initially were winning, they pushed the price all the way up, okay? At the end of the day, at the end of the hour, depending on the time frame that you're trading, the bears came in and then pushed the price down, okay? And then eventually it closed right here at this level. So you can say that price tried to rally, but then it failed at the end of the day because the bears, they're coming in. In fact, they are winning in this type of war. 
So now it's time to find the pattern gravestone doji. Where is it? Now ideally, like I said, you want a gravestone doji that doesn't have a lower wig. But if it does have a short wig, then it's still okay as long as the upper wig is longer than the lower wig. Okay. So can you find the pattern? I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. If I zoom in right here, can you see this long green? Here it is. Gravestone doji. So you can see that in this case, the price went up and it retraces immediately it goes down in fact you not only see one doji you see another one here and then, and then see another one here to add with that you see additional confirmation right here that price tried to went up but it couldn't break this resistance line you know what i'm saying of course not to draw this properly okay don't draw it like me i'm just illustrating okay okay so the third doji pattern you need to know is called a dragonfly doji why is that because it looks like a so what does dragonfly doji has it has a couple of wings i'm just kidding let me just rub this it has a long lower shadow so so sellers initially came in and then tried to push the price down which it did but then eventually buyers came back in and then pushed the price back up and hence the price closed at this level Okay, then this tells you that buyers are starting to win. Okay, so you see body at the top rather than just now gravestone doji bodies at the bottom. Now gravestone doji bodies at the top. Then the question is, what happens when you see a dragonfly doji in a downtrend? Can you spot with the dragonfly doji? If I zoom in, right here. Okay, again you don't see the price rally immediately. It went down for a couple of candles, okay? In fact, for over the weekend, before on Monday when the market opens, then it goes up. So you might have to spend the weekend wondering, is it going to work out? So eventually buyers won and then push the price up. When you use candlestick pattern alone without any confirmation, without any other thing else, you are literally driving blindfold. Of course, if you are really, 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 really good at it, you are like a fortune teller of the candlesticks, then don't rely on confirmation. But treat that on your own risk. For example, if you love using support resistance zones, you know that, okay, when I see a gravestone doji right here, okay, very likely the price is going to retrace. When I see price comes down, bounce off your moving average, Okay, even though this is not an ideal doji, then this tells you that okay, potentially the price might go back up. Okay, don't just rely on candlestick doji alone. Okay, so with that, let me know down in the comment section below how do you use doji in your trading? What do you use it for? When do you use it? Share me. Talk to you next time. Bye.